Hello guys, in this video, I want to tell you what I wanted to know when I started to practice CPPP. Don't forget to subscribe for good luck. First, hit crystal. I knew about it quickly after I started practicing CPPP, but I didn't really know how to do it quicker. What I should have done was to practice using a zombie with a slow fall, and I didn't need to place it right in front of me. Instead, I needed to aim to the side after hitting it, and then place the obsidian and crystal. Using ladder key to place crystal helps a lot. Next, anchor. When I first started, I didn't like this way of fighting because I didn't understand it. I saw a lot of people charging the anchor to the fullest to make it explode, but you can just charge it once and then switch to your weapon or non glowstone item and then right click. When I first discovered it, I was not happy with myself. Of course, with powerful weapons, we need something to withstand such power, and that is crystal and anchor blocking. Easy to do, you just Place a block in front of you while facing the source of the explosion. You get it by instinct, but would have been nice to know in the first place. The easiest and one of the most useful skills that you need to know, but it's also a deadly rusted blade. When you fail to do it, you sure hope you can read totem as fast as your mind can think. It's Pearl Flash. You prowl to the ground to abuse the way knockback works. It basically gives you zero knockback when you get hit. Be careful not to crawl to a crystal though. Now, I will show you a match where I did all of the things that I just said. By the way, I have no tears so I am actually bad at crystal. I do understand the mechanics so let's see the fight. Alright, so this is the second recording because my last one was not too in depth on the fight. So of course, yeah. Let's look at this bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the timing is real bad. Of course, you need to get potion effects, uh, strength, and speed because speed gives you well speed. Okay, yeah, there's the mistake. I forgot to block the the crystal of my opponent, and I tried to anchor him and yes i succeeded and then i stayed in this hole to heal and then tried anchoring again but he was too far so i crawled and so well i didn't try to hit crystal him because i knew it was too hard for me yes here i popped him again and there i did a second mistake but it's not too date deadly um Yes, here I popped in again. Okay, so in this situation, I tried to to uh, pop his totem, but I felt so. I tried to escape, but I felt so. And here, I tried to get into the fight again, but no. So, okay, I re totemed and then pulled out. And here, I thought, of course, yeah, if I'm gonna go in there, I will lose. So, I just healed, of course. 3 gapples is like the good amount in crystal pvp so i tried to you know locate where he is and there he is so i'm trying to go to the low ground advantage but failed i was like a pixel up from the ground i anchored tried to low ground tried a uh, hit crystal no that wasn't a hit crystal sorry guys uh, I'm very bad at these. Okay, so I kept healing until I go to him and just... Okay, yeah, I failed. I think I pro flashed there. Oh, and here, here. I think this is the good part. I stayed in this hole, explode, and then crystal him. Quickly block, and then make do a hole again, make, made a hole. And then spam anchor, but I think I am um, re-toteming. Yeah, 
Okay, so I noticed that she was under me, so yeah, I teleported out. And then I thought, oh wait, my armor, it's gonna die soon, so yeah, here is where I man my uh, armor. You need this in a long fight. So, always carry like two stacks of them, but this is PvP Legacy, so it doesn't really matter. It it gets ready uh, uh, for you. Mm -hmm. I tried to get a low ground advantage but failed. This guy is good at hit crystal and I'm very bad at it. Never mind, I was just worse than the worst guy. Okay, so here is where I healed. Anchor and he taught uh, his totem pop. So I tried to get a low ground advantage again, but of course, everyone in Crystal PvP community knows that. Yeah, as you can see, I blocked my own crisp, uh, anchor, and there it is. So, overall, that was a bad fight for the elites, for tryhards, but... For me it was fine and it was a good fight because of course I won. Thank you guys for watching, uh, see you in the next video. And also I might not be available for summer break because I'm going outside of my country, well I'm going back to my country in the break so yeah. Thank you, don't forget to subscribe and like, bye!